go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We ready. Let's go. It's Super Bowl Sunday, baby. We got to get ready. Oh, 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 oh. Cigar hair crew, what y'all doing here? I got to play today. Hey, man, hold on. Wait a minute. This is the pregame. Pregame cigar review. So, y'all get ready. We about to get lit. Let's go. Yeah, man, look, that's I do that before every game. Before every game, I sleep in my soda pads the night before the game, baby. That's good luck. That's how we know we're going to win, baby. We're going to win. Let's go. What's going down, Cigar Head crew? Hope y'all got y'all game faces on because we about to get lit. Because this is the official Super Bowl pregame cigar review. And we got a heavy hitter today. We're going to be smoking. The Southern Draw, Jacob's Ladder, and Robusto. All right, Cigar Head Crew, now, before we get into the info on the cigar, let's take a good look at it. This is a gorgeous looking cigar, man. Nice, uh, dark, dark cocoa uh, colored wrapper on there. Very nice looking cigar. As you can see, uh, the, bottom, the bottom part of the cigar is covered by a cedar sleeve. You can just take that right on off. Um, it does have a closed foot. The cigar is a nice double cap. It has it, it has quite a few veins, but still, all in all, the cigar is actually pretty smooth. It's, it's really smooth to the touch. Um, slightly toothy, not very much tooth on the cigar, but it's an awesome looking cigar. So, without further ado, we're gonna look on half wheel and see what they say about the cigar. Y'all hang on. All right, cigar here crew. Now we're gonna take a look at half wheel and see what they got to say about the cigar. Now, now the Southern Draw came out in 2017. The size that I'm smoking tonight is the Robusto size, which this is a five and a half by 54 ring gauge. MSRP on this bad boy is $9.50. It also comes in a Gordo size, which that's a six and a half by 60. That one is 10.99. And um, you have the Toro size, which is a six by 52 ring gauge, and that one is $10. So this cigar has a Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper an Ecuadorian Maduro binder, and it has a Nicaragua filler, including two Lajero leaves from Esteli. So that's like super interesting. I can't wait to fire this bad boy up. It's interesting how they came up with the name with this cigar because um, the, the references that they use are references towards the book of the Bible. And they also have a son named Ethan, Jacob Hope. So that's like, that, that's really cool. I, I, I think that's really cool, man. So without further ado, y'all, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Cigar has a spectacular draw, even with the, even with this closed foot. You see that? Cold draw. Getting a deep, rich cocoa in hay. And it's heavy too, boy. Also, tastes a little bit of cinnamon. Getting like a little tingle on the tongue too. So the smell on it. I'm getting that musty, musty natural tobacco sweetness. Like it's like a mixture of musty and sweetness. And it has a closed foot getting the same thing all right that's it y'all without further ado we about to get lit y'all hang on
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, now immediately from Light Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just got I just got hit by Ray Lewis on top of a Mike Tyson haymaker. Oh yeah. I like that. <clears throat> a deep, deep, dark chocolate note that I'm getting on my palate. And black pepper. Instantly black pepper, man. I like it. Uh like Uncle Lee Max say, hey yo ah, yo ah. This for sure, this is for sure a yo ah, for sure, man. I like it. All right, we're gonna let this bad boy heat on up, get into the first third. And if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, so go ahead, crew. We are back with this Southern Draw Jacob's Ladder. I'm really enjoying everything about this cigar. The construction is well, it's smoking really well. Only thing I don't like about it, we got a flag on the play, y'all, is the burn. But that tends to happen when you have Lajero tobacco. Lajero tobacco does not burn well at all. So I'm interested I'm interested to see if it'll catch up with itself because it was burning wonkier than this. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that as I keep smoking this bad boy on down. But the flavors that I'm getting are pretty much still the same. Um, except for now that it, the chocolate in the, in the cigar is getting a lot bolder. And also I'm starting to get some cinnamon and it's also finishing out with like, it's giving me that, that mesquite taste like I got in the, in the Placencia Almaforte. And I'm really enjoying that. So I'm gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down. And if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar and Crew, we're back with the Southern Draw. Jacob's Ladder. The burn has gotten a bit better. Still a little wonky, but a lot better than it was. Now, very interesting. Here, if we're getting close to the end of the second third, the, a, a lot of that pepper and spice that I was getting, that haymaker and that hit by, by and that hit by Ray Lewis, right? That that fell off. You can pretty much retrohale this entire cigar right now. But the flavors I'm getting, I'm enjoying that that dark chocolate has turned into pretty much a like a milk chocolate type of note getting like a little bit of caramel sweetness on on the finish strong tobacco core that tobacco core is 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 it's bold within the cigar also getting like a little bit of leather also on that finish as well not too harsh not nothing that make you put the cigar down but i'm enjoying it though but i'm surprised that the pepper really calmed down because at first it felt like it was it was just it, it was full-blown pedal to the metal spice and pepper and cayenne pepper man it was it, it was it was hey hey it was getting there it was getting me there for real so it's calmed down a lot so we're gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down and get to the final third and see what awaits so y'all hang on All right, so go ahead, crew. We're back with the final third of the Southern Draw Jacob's Ladder. Now, the burn, it caught up with itself, then it got back wonky again. But as far as the experience, I've had a great experience with this cigar. I would definitely buy a box of these. This is most definitely a Cigar Head certified cigar. This is, this is an awesome cigar, man. I really like, I really, really like this cigar. Uh, flavor notes still pretty much been the same, except for now the, that uh, pep, that black pepper, and cayenne spice, is starting to pick back up a little bit. I say it's about a medium plus. So I would say for the beginners, might not want to try this. One. Might not want to try this. One. But I've enjoyed this cigar, man. Really, really good cigar. Definitely a cigar head certified cigar, through and through. I enjoy the construction as well. You see that holding up an ash really well. Really good, really good construction on the cigar. So, that being said, if you guys enjoyed the flavor notes that I've described in this cigar, give it a shot, man. For the Robusto size is nine dollars and fifty cents. That's worth it. So, all right, y'all. On that note, I'll see y'all in the next review, man. Y'all do me a favor, give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel.
hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops and i will see y'all in the next review i gotta get back to the field coach is calling me all right y'all y'all remember stay lit stay humble and stay smoking all right y'all i'm out peace hey coach hold on here i come